All right, <laughs> welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not, it was not the end of the playthrough. Okay, I know y'all seen part seventeen. I know y'all seen the crazy, absolute crazy shit we just went through. But uh, yeah, that was definitely not the end of the story here. Uh, it's the end of the main story, but there's still some other stuff to do. Uh, we've got Altamatron, we got Far Harbor. Or as I've been seeing the joke on Reddit and everything lately, it's Faba. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so we've got um, we've got Automatron, Far Harbor, and Nuka World to do. We also got some other miscellaneous stuff that's kind of just lingering around that we got to do as well. Um, one of the main things I've been wanting to do is I want to reclaim Covenant. So I know that's going to be like the first thing we do in today. But um, there's some other stuff I want to do. Let's see. Okay, tell you what. First thing we're going to do. Before I forget, because I did get the serum before we destroyed the Institute. Uh, I gotta bring this to Virgil so he can be a human again. The glowing death claw still there. Oh, so we did, um, I'm gonna, I'm go, going inside, Jesus Christ. I was gonna show you guys uh, my new weapon that I got, but, uh, <laughs> it's a little risky. So, um, we got a new weapon. It's a Disciples Cutlass. I renamed it to crim's cutlass because i was like you know it's replacing my crim's tooth it has the same legendary effect as crim's tooth but it's a it's more like a dagger or a knife rather than like a machete so it has a faster attack speed and it still has the same effect as crim's tooth and it also does a shitload shitload more damage than crim's tooth like 30 to 40 more damage than what my crim's tooth was doing so as you can see there, the damage is 192, and it's got that three bleed damage speed is very fast. It only weighs three pounds. So I mean, pretty bananas, okay? <laughs> so anyway, that's our new weapon for melee. We're gonna go talk to uh, Virgil real quick. Why don't you get your gun out, bro? You about to kill well, him? Okay. I'm glad to see the relay didn't completely vaporize you. Yes, sir, Mr. Green Man. It did, but I pulled myself together. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you did. Now, what about the serum? Did you find it? Sorry, buddy, you're shit out of luck. Anyway, joking. I've got it right here. That's it. That's really it. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Retrovirus has matured nicely. Density gradient is high. Recombinant counter intron sequences look stable. Okay. Transcriptive exon strands have formed. Okay. Has the uh, <clears throat> reverse transcriptase survived the nucleotide synthesis? Excellent question. Yes. Yes, it has. Wait, what? Fascinating. <laughs> no. Did you mean that as a joke? <laughs> I'm dead well. as shit. It's time. <laughs> There's only one way to test it. Oh my god. Right. Oh, I love the sarcastic Here option in this game. It freaking makes me want to piss myself uh, laughing. Uh, oh shit, he just stuck himself. No. He just shoved that bottle up his ass. We wait. That's it? What? <laughs> Did you expect me to transform <laughs> right before your eyes? This is science. Not a two-cap magic show. I'm going to rest for a while. I'm back in a few days. I'm you weak and... Well, I guess we'll see. In any event, you kept your end of our bargain. Thank you. Bro, are you about to, like, cap my you ass? just have to wait. Okay. Uh, happy to hear that. I'm waiting for you to leave this cave so I can loot all your shit. Protect and serve. Oh, shut up. Anyway, because once he uh, leaves the cave, we actually can loot everything in here. So uh, we're going to leave, and we're going to go straight into stealth because we're not about to get attacked by that uh, glowing death claw that's chilling out there. It's been there for a while. Oh, homie, he's just chilling. Okay, so straight into stealth. All right. Um, next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to Covenant. So I did clear out a bunch of settlements. Uh, actually, a little while ago today. It's currently like almost 11 o'clock. Oh, no, it's actually after 11 o'clock right now. Uh, we're going to go to Taffington Boathouse. And we're going to run over to Covenant and start that little quest line. That way we can get the quests or get the settlement. Because I definitely want to make a base there. So now that I've finished the main story, uh, some of the main stuff that we're going to be doing is kind of just building up our settlements and everything. Really expanding our supply lines and all that. Because so far... 
if you look at my map, <laughs> I have nothing connected. Uh, pretty much all my materials are at the castle. Uh, I've recently started doing some stuff with Bunker Hills. Nothing too much. Uh, built some defenses and all that. But really, the only things connected is Sanctuary and Red Rocket. Uh, Sanctuary, I do have a build I'm working on there as well. I haven't shared too much of it yet. Uh, I was thinking of doing like no power with it, but I think I might just implement just some small hints of power because I don't really want to have that same kind of glitch happen again with Sanctuary. But anyway, enough uh, chitter chatter. We're going to run over to Covenant, which is just around the corner here. I'm also very excited. What the hell? I'm also very excited to um, start the Automatron in Far Harbor, especially Far Harbor. I'm, I'm excited to uh, start that because I've only done one playthrough of Far Harbor, so it's still kind of um, fresh in my memory. Or not really fresh in my memory. Like I don't really remember too much of what happened. I know there's some stuff with the Children of Adam. There's some other craziness over there, but for the most part, I don't really remember what happened. And same thing with Nuka World. So those two DLCs, that's going to be a pretty much almost blind playthrough. I just know that Far Harbor has one really good melee weapon that I can't wait to get. And I'm really looking forward to that. So, okay, so here we are. We're at Covenant. It's a settlement with a lot to hide, evidently. But we're going we're gonna to uncover everything as we go. So let's go ahead and talk to this dude. You here visiting Covenant, pal? If not, move along. You know, I'm people loitering around. Not good for the nerves. I'd like to visit. Since you're a first-timer, there's something you gotta know first. We don't just let anyone inside. There's an entrance test. We call it the safe test. Everyone's gotta take it. Interesting idea. Between you and me, what's the test for? I probably shouldn't say nothing, but listen. We want to make sure only good people come into Covenant. No undesirables. Nobody that ain't actually what they seem, you know? I'm new to the area. What do you mean by undesirables? You don't know about... Jesus, listen. Not everyone in the Commonwealth is human, okay? Some are... Since. I'm not gonna say anything more than that. Just take the test. You pass, and you can come inside where everything's safe. Alright? Sure. Good. Take a seat, and we can begin. Cool. Man, this place is high tech. They got cameras and shit. So let's begin. There ain't no wrong answers. You are approached by a frenzied scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? I wouldn't worry. If he did that, it'd cause a parabolic destabilization of the fission singularity. Uh, yeah. Next question. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection on his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Medicate the infected area as best I can. You have a medical background. You discover a young boy lost in a cave. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? I lead the boy to safety, then turn him over to someone in charge. Very curious. Congratulations! Hey, you made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? I don't play baseball. I play soccer. Are you certain about that? Never mind. Next question. <laughs> Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill someone. What do you do? No, I've got to. I'd ask for a minigun so I could do the job right. Please treat the question seriously. <laughs> or are you? Next. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again. Oh, there we go. And you've Can't been ordered to get reference. him out. How do you proceed? I'd grab a bobby pin and pick the lock. And that is all you'd do? Nothing else? Wait, don't answer. <laughs> Next. Oh, no. You've been exposed to radiation 
and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? I'd cut off the mutated tissue with a precision laser. Tell you, get this shit off of me. Bias. Hmm. A neighbor is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Slip him a Mickey. <laughs> or mug his ass. <laughs> No, no, we're just gonna we're, we're we're trying to get in the covenant, so I'd trade him for one of the comic books I own. Hmm. You're almost done. Last question. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and Oh, oh, I'd put a firecracker in his toilet. Bam! It never gets old. Test's over. No one's ever answered quite like you. But hey, you passed. I'll open up the gate. You damn straight I ain't no synth boy. <laughs> Hell yeah, we're going into Covenant, boys and girls. Are you gonna just stand there? Come on, brother, I'm ready to get this damn place. Let's go. One of the cleanest settlements in the Commonwealth. Welcome to Covenant. Dead on in. Penny's shop is usually the first stop. I'm gonna slam the door in my face. Hell yeah. You from around here? God, I hope not. I've had enough of these hicks. You have a problem with the people here? All the fake smiles and the fancy talking puts me on edge. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. You know anything about Stockton's caravan? Sure, I know about... Who was that again? <sighs> You're as bad as the rest of these idiots. I signed on with old man Stockton to find his lost caravan. What's left of it is just outside of town. The last stop was here, so I've been trying to put together the story. But I keep getting the runaround. Got a proposal for you. Help me find Stockton's people, and we split the reward. At least one survivor walked out of that massacre. And I intend to make good on my contract. Sounds fair. I'm in. Here's all I got on the caravan. I don't got proof, but Covenant's involved. Somehow. I'll keep poking around, but let me know if you find anything. Okay. Well, hello. Excuse me. Well, hello, stranger. The name's Jacob, and I run this town. Glad you passed the test. Our door's always open to good quality people. You can use one of the beds in the guest house. And you should visit Penny's store. Anything else in town? Doc Patricia will be more than happy to patch you up. For a modest fee, of course. You might want to stay clear of Mr. Dan. I've had some complaints about him. Can I ask you some questions? Ask away. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? Is this about those Stockton people? I've told Mr. Dan many, many times. We never saw them. Does Covenant have a problem with synths? Shouldn't everyone have a problem with synths? But there's none of those things here. Rest assured. Dan says your people are lying to him. If you ask me, I think Dan's been baking in the sun too long. The only secret we've got here is what's in Deezer's lemonade. And if you can get Deezer I to bet tell it's you, piss. you just got to fill me in. As the robot says, it's delicious. I have to go. You have a good day. I don't like your attitude, brother. Still on the mend. Enjoy you your stay. Oh, I don't like this lady. Oh, she's creepy as shit. I forgot. Hi. Some say you brotherhood types are as bad as news, the meds, but after what you did to the Institute, understood. I'll Any sell you anything you like. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Thanks, Doc. Do you have time for a few questions? For you? <laughs> Certainly. The town looks really nice. How'd you manage that? Oh, thank you for noticing. Well, the men folk would say good old-fashioned elbow grease keeps Covenant as the prettiest place in the Commonwealth. But between you and me, I think shrewd trading may play a big part. 
Does Covenant have some sort of problem with synths? Thank God we don't. None of those machines are in here. People here are really friendly. Why is that? Everyone that passes the test is welcome to visit, but we are particular on who can live here. And having a positive attitude is important to us. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? You've been talking to Mr. Dan. I don't know what he's carrying on about. He's just stirring the pot, if you ask me. Why would he do that? Some people are just jealous when they see others leading a better life. And they'd like nothing better than to drag everyone down to their level. And Dan thinks he's the one helping people. He wouldn't know the first thing about making the Commonwealth a better, safer place. He should be thankful you let him in. Instead, he stomps around interrogating people. If the compound did do something to his precious caravan, they had reasons for it. Better reasons than a man like him. Hmm. You know, honey, I... I was just shooting off at the mouth. Oh. Just forget anything I said about that and the compound. I have to go. <laughs> I know where the secret compound is, but we're going to make some... Uh... One day, Covenant is going to be as big as Diamond City. Yeah, you wish. Okay. Well, I'll talk to the doc real quick. You need any doctoring? Just let me know. Any news out there, doctor? If you want rumors, then Penny's the girl for you. I like to stick to fixing people. It's what I'm good at. Gonna pass. Let me know if that changes. I don't like your smug look. You give me the creeps lady. So we want to ensure that we get allied with the settlement so we don't have to destroy the turrets. Because uh, that's just bad for business. And we really don't want to... Tell your friends about Covenant. You can always use extra business. Be quiet, brother. I'm not talking to you. They're hiding something. I'm sure of it. You're damn right After there. After a long day, nothing beats Deezer's lemonade. Really? Hey, Deezer. Would you like some free lemonade? I'm looking into a lost caravan. Can you help? You know what would be great for a lost caravan? <laughs> Deezer's lemonade! Voted best beverage in Covenant three years straight! What's in the lemonade? Deezer's lemonade is made of goodness. Four special ingredients from sunny, non-irradiated environments, all in one cold glass. Try it and enjoy, or take advantage of the money-back guarantee. I'll take some. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> right, let's talk to Dan. They're hiding something. I'm sure of it. Hey, Dan. This whole place has got me on edge. I hope you found something on the caravan. Synths are a real touchy subject around here. Hmm. Now that you mention it, people are always gabbing about synths or the Institute. But here, pff, not one word. But hell, this whole place is a bucket full of strange. Do you have any other leads? No. If Covenant doesn't pan out, then I don't know where to start. I'll cross that road if I have to. I found out about a compound. The caravan survivors may be there. Great. Now we just need to find it. If anyone would know where this compound is, it'd be Jacob. He runs this town. But he doesn't have the best memory. I saw him once reading a slip of paper while entering his password. Maybe you can find that. We'll talk later. Okay, that's what I'm looking for is a piece of paper with a password on it. I'm going to make a quick save. We're going to go hidden. Go ahead and unlock this door. There we go. That's a serious lock. We need to find a key. Let's hope someone's been careless. Oh, here we go. Perfect. All right, we're good. Anybody in here? No? Good. Close all that up. All right, going to make a quick save. Interesting. They're hiding something. I'm sure of it. Hey, Dan. 
You find out anything about the caravan? What have you been up to? Not a lot. Everyone's got their eye on me. But I'll keep trying. They took the survivors to a compound. Then we're in business. I'll meet you there and we'll rescue ourselves some caravan hands. Okay. Make a quick save. Let's see what this dude has to say to me before I leave. Hey, a stranger. It's no secret you've been poking around. Not very neighborly of you, if you ask me. I know you think you're doing the right thing. Just don't make any rash decisions you'll regret. I know you and your secret compound are behind what happened to Stockton's caravan. Supposing, hypothetically, we are. We wouldn't do anything unless we had good reasons. The best. Tell you what, you just stop this investigation, and I'll give you a gift. One hundred caps. And then you'd be welcome back here as our friend any time. Surely there's room for compromise. I get Stockton's survivors, and we stay... friends? I'd have to know more, though. That's a tall order. A deal like that, well, that's above my pay grade. Tell you what, I'll let the Kampa know you're coming. Then you can make your case to them. Good luck. Okay, that just makes things a little bit easier, I guess. Let's go over here. We'll just uh, swim across the channel here. Hey, Dan. Some people up ahead. I'll follow your lead. Yeah, you will. And quick save. Just because Jacob vouched for you doesn't mean you can enter the compound. Why should I let you in? All I want is to find Stockton's people. This doesn't have to get messy. I see. I'll take her to Dr. Chambers. She can decide what to do with you. But don't try anything funny. You've been warned. I'll kill all of you if you keep threatening me. <laughs> I mean, do you realize that I've destroyed the Institute, become a sentinel in the Brotherhood of Steel, and, you know, just all kinds of badassery I'm capable of, and you think you and your little ugly armor is going to keep me? Brother, please. Blight! Hey, Blight! Yes, what is it, Manny? I thought you guys were done with Subject 12. Oh, yes, the interview's over. I'm just reviewing the data on Question 4. It's fascinating, really. Yeah, I'm sure. Certainly. Okay. Dan at stranger stranger hey extend the platform warden center They keep on calling me a stranger. Please stop. You're the first outsider that's been in here. Yeah, I get that a lot. Alright, is this walking simulator? I feel like I'm playing Life is Strange again. Come on, brother. Where are we going? I think I'm gonna go on a murder spree in here anyway just because I believe what they're doing here I think it was kind of messed up so we'll probably just end up uh, giving them all the massacre all right so the one investigating Stockton's caravan has arrived do you even know that his supposed daughter is in all likelihood a sin no matter let me be upfront about 
There are two ways this meeting can end. We come to an agreement, or there's violence. Okay. Stockton's daughter is a synth? Why else do you think we attacked her caravan? She has well over a 70% chance of being a synth. I'd have to perform an autopsy, to be sure. Let me pose a question to you. What would you do if your family was destroyed by a synth right in front of you when you were but a child? Would you roll over and accept it? Or would you do something about it? I've been there, but I haven't resorted to torturing innocents. Casualties are inevitable. It may not look like it. Yeah, they're gonna but die. <laughs> they're as long gonna as die. the Institute walks invisibly amongst <sighs> us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden synths, to root them out so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? Who really knows what the Institute is responsible for? And how do they manage to keep us in the dark? A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Enter the safe test. The test is in its infancy, but through sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is improving. But your methods are barbaric. It's torture. To improve the safe test, Intense psychological pressure must be applied to our test subjects. It is distasteful, but necessary. Covenant is many things. A refuge for the broken people left in the wake of the Institute's rampages. A place of safety and healing. But most importantly, it is our one chance to end this age of paranoia. I will make you a deal. If you let me dispose of Stockton's sin, and continue our work. I'll match whatever reward you were offered. I've had my fill of crazy on this contract. No deal. Fortunate for me, I wasn't talking to you. You side with this nut job, and we're going to have a serious, deadly problem. That's a deal I won't accept. Then you'll just have to kill me. Not a damn problem. <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't going to work out for y'all in the end, brothers. I'll just go ahead and steal all your stuff. You're all going to die. You're all going to die. You're dead. I'm Oprah and I'm giving out death. <laughs> Go ahead and take that, take that, take that. And you're dead. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to hit you, Dan. But you're in the damn way. Protect the doctor. The doctor's dead, homie. <laughs> what the hell did I pick up? Anyway. You're, oh, you're gonna die. Oop. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm having way too much fun with this, just watching little heads go flying and stuff. Come here, buddy. Boop. I love this uh, little dagger, it gives them the boop. Just give them a little boop and they're, they're, they're dead. Alright. And you're gonna die. Who the hell you think you are? Who shot at me? Oh, you little, you little creeping some bitch. Boop. <laughs> give them the boop, boys. They're still saying protect the doctor. I mean, you do realize the doc is dead, right? What the hell's this? Little bitch. Who else? Who else? Who else? I got okay. you six. Who knows where more of the bastards will pop up? Hell yeah, you know that, brother. Uh, where are they at, though? I'm gonna jump down here. I'm gonna run around here. She vanished. Uh, not really. I'm just kind of a. Uh, <laughs> brother, please stop sliding. Oh, I actually need one of those for my doctor. Thank you for the Vault Tech lab, lab coat. Come here, bitch! 
<laughs> and boop. And then boop. Oh, this is too funny. I am on very hard, right? <laughs> I mean, I know this is kind of like supposed to be early. Yeah. I know Covenant is supposed to be kind of like early game, and I waited till I was like a little over level 50. Am I over level 50? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'm level 57. I didn't even realize. So I waited all the way to level 57 to do this quest. Uh, yeah, it's going to be easy. Okay. He's taking all your... Uh, Damn it! Where'd you go? Who are you talking to? The mission's... <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be holding them someplace. What the hell are they doing here anyway? Is there a magazine in here somewhere? I think I'm not sure. Uh, it's very interesting. Okay, we're gonna go back down. Chained on the other side. Interesting. I'm gonna go back down. I'm gonna pull the fusion core. Thank you. Okay, and then up here. <laughs> oh my god, I love this uh, this dagger. It's great. Can right, we go down here? Man, this place is so confusing. Wait, what's this way? Oh, that's that chain door. Good. Okay, let's go free our prisoners. Man, let me get all this loot first. Let me tell you that. Ooh, aluminum. Hey there. Thank you ever so much. You're welcome. Damn, they really just gave you a mole rat thigh. It's a bloody handprint on there. A Dark Brotherhood reference. Yo, they actually had a death chamber? Jesus Christ. They said, bitch, you try to leave, we'll, we'll electrocute your ass. Hey, Dan. So Stockton gets his daughter and we get paid. Not a bad day. It was good working with you. Likewise. Glad you were on my side. Here's your cut of the reward. I'll get my half from Stockton. Been a pleasure. Be safe, Dan. Same to you. All right, cool. Um, I guess let's see how this uh, turns out when we go back to the place. Okay, let's see here. Are y'all gonna kill me? Oh dear. You ruined everything. Okay. Huh? Let's do this. Good thing I bought that shit from her. <laughs> Off with your head. Keep your head ah! Ah! And ah! Ah! <laughs> I wanted to take your head off from the moment I saw you, dude. I don't like him. These are you're cool, you get to stay alive on me. Sorry, Talia. Lock tight. Ma'am? Did you really? I can take this place now. Hell yeah. And we can get rid of these damn turrets that you can't do anything with. Yeah, we'll have to do that in a bit. I forgot how to do it. There's a certain way. Okay, I remember how to do it. You have to like uh, put them on a rug or put them on something and then store that object and it'll actually get rid of them, I think. But we'll have to do some fancy stuff for that. We don't need your head anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, yeah, they're all dead. Okay. I, uh, it seems like they might have patched the way that you normally could remove the turrets, which would just be holding down select on them, and you can move them, but I can't do that. Okay. So, like I said, I've never been to this one here and shit. Okay, so I know this is like a friendly vault. I think we can go in here. I think they might have some cool stuff we can do, but let's just check it out first. 
I think this is where actually Trader Riley is from, is uh, from Vault 81. Hold it right there. Not the shit balls. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? I'm just a traveler. I thought I'd take a look around. Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh, Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am, some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just... Let me in. Excuse me, ma'am. Before you arrived, she did say she was from Vault 111. And she's in possession of a working pit boy. Is that so? I'm going to allow it. Edwards, open the door and make the announcement. Officer Edwards and I will meet you at the entrance. Okay. I'm glad I passed that speech check. Let's see, Vault 81. Interesting. Here we go, boys. Vault 81. Damn, that's a big boy over there. Look at him. Holy moly. Anyway. Ready to talk now? We've never encountered a fellow vault dweller. Is this Vault 111 you mentioned still operational? It's more like a graveyard now. Almost no survivors. Christ, I'm sorry. What happened there? They had us cryogenically frozen in these pods, but something malfunctioned. Oh my god. All those lives lost due to some malfunction? That's unacceptable. I suppose we've been lucky. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient, but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. Why do you keep yourselves so isolated? Why not? We have warm beds, clean clothes, a solid roof over our heads. Our food and water are radiation free. We don't deal with the elements or raiders. We're safe here. And for some, that safety and stability is what counts. Interaction is a good thing. The Commonwealth is improving. So I've heard. But it's still got a long ways to go. Now, I have work to do. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Cool. I got two words on what I expect out of you. Best behavior. Chill, brother. It's not that serious. I mean, it is, but it's not. Another outsider? What they let you in for? Here to do a little trading. We'll make it quick. We don't need your kind lingering around here. <laughs> Ain't you just a bitch? Well, aren't you a ray of sunshine? You think you're funny? That's exactly why outsiders don't belong here. Okay, I'm not going to talk to you ever again. Jackass. Low levels of radiation. Not bad, considering. Hey, Ashes. Stay safe, ma'am. Ashes, where are you going? You should stop by Ash. and see Horatio while you're here. Damn it. Can't imagine you Karen's come across any like powders this. in the Commonwealth. Never had an incident on my watch, and I don't want to start today. Cool. Yeah, let's head on in. Oh, they have an elevator? That's cool. Fancy. <laughs> hey, lady. Are you really from the Commonwealth? Damn, boy. Me? No. I'm from the moon. Still got cheese on my shoes. I guess that was a dumb question. But I bet it's your first time here. I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. That's not necessary. I can find my own way around. Oh, you're no fun. <laughs> yeah, run along now, you little shit. 
Brother, your wife is stuck in the wall. You want to talk about that? <clears throat> Our Commonwealth guest, welcome to the depot. And pardon the clutter, I don't get much time to tidy. Talking to a damn wall. <laughs> Bro, hello? I'm sorry, ma'am. It never ends these days. Can you not do that here? What if the Overseer or Whitaker caught you? Cover some slack, Tina. I've been working 12 hours straight. <sighs> You've been working. Sure. I bet bossing around old Rusty really takes it out of you. You've no idea, Mr. Luca. Hey, will you both just get lost? You're killing my buzz here. With pleasure, sir. <sighs> Fine. Get caught. Then you won't have the choice to leave because the Overseer will make it for you. <clears throat> hey, Outsider. Do me a favor. Holy if my good for nothing shit. brother asks you for Jet, tell him to buzz off. What happened to your face? You were never this. You never look like that. Do me a favor. If my good for nothing brother asks you for Jet, tell him to buzz off. Tina. Hey, outsider. Do me a favor. If my good for nothing brother asks you for Jet, tell him to buzz off. All right. Look, he's a junkie, but he's getting careless. If he gets caught, we're both in trouble. And as much as I'd like to leave this canned paradise, that's not how I want to go. If he's addicted, you should try to help him get clean. I think I haven't tried. I locked him in his room for a week. It wasn't two days before he was using again. Now I admit, I've got my own share of the blame here. Bobby gets his chems from me, and I keep him on a short leash. But not anymore. I'm cutting off his useless ass. Good. That's the first step to helping your brother. Should have done it a long time ago. But things ain't easy around here. Good thing we have old Rusty. And nothing would ever get better. Hey, the outsider. You lost? No trading going on down here. Just taking a look around. Well, only the old generators to see down here. Oh, and hey, if you got any jet on you, I may be willing to take it off your hands. Say, 75 caps? Who's it for? You? Me, myself, and I. Don't worry, I'm not into selling. That's my sister's thing. I'm not a dealer. I don't sell drugs. Hey, forget I asked. Seriously. And if you could keep this little conversation under wraps, I'd appreciate it. Just don't let Tina know. She'd be all over my ass. Well, there we go. She's not stuck in the wall anymore. Hi. Looking for something? I have more stuff than I know what to do with. I might be interested in buying or selling. Great. I have all sorts of odds and ends. Oh. Well, damn. That is... Boys and girls, that is a damn good weapon. <laughs> it is basically going to do double damage because it shoots two projectiles out of one. So, yes, ma'am, I will take that gun. Thank you very much. Oh, well, this is also perfect. Oh, my God. Brothers and everything. This is okay. I'm taking that. I'm taking that. I'm taking that. Hey, yo. <laughs> You're trying to rob me, girl. <laughs> Sell all my 38 rounds. Uh, uh, okay, I don't use this, so we'll sell that. Uh, we need our 556. Uh, we don't really use a minigun at all, so we'll sell all that. Um, uh, we'll sell these fusion cores that are depleted a little bit. We can sell these gamma rounds. I don't need those. No, I'm not selling my... No. Okay, I'm, uh... I'm gonna have to come back for, uh... I'm gonna have to come back for some of this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back. <laughs> That's, uh... A lot of stuff. Those are exp... Oh, those are almost 9,000 apiece. That's, uh... Yeah, that's why. Okay, ammunition. Well, I'll take back. Uh, I'll take back this fusion core. I'll take back my. Uh, take back my five millimeter rounds. Okay, I guess I'll take back.
Okay, that's, uh, that's a little bit better. Um, wow, we're going to have to come back for these. These are really good. Reduces damage while standing and not moving by 15%. Oh, those are also heavy armor. Okay. Interesting. But I could definitely use those because, uh, you see, I have a combat left arm. That's legendary. I mean, which is, this one's pretty good. But then the right arm, I don't have a combat right arm. And this one's actually pretty good. Okay, I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to see about that. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. And then... But, uh, this right here, this, this is a gun right here. Oh my god. So, I've been using this combat rifle right here. Which isn't the best. But if we take the mods off of here and apply it to this gun. Oh, man. That's going to carry. <laughs> okay, ma'am. I really don't regret coming here now. Thank You're you. You're still here. Okay. I heard it's, we um, had a traitor in today. Okay. Anyway, I did some reading, and it looks like uh, we can get Tina DeLuca as a settler. I remember that. She's like a tier 4 vendor. If you assign her to a merchant thing. But, um... We have to do some quests and wait some time before we can do that, so... I'm actually going to talk to the overseer up there. How do I get up there through this You way? want a good meal, see Maria. I'll be damned if that whole... Take time to look around. You'll have the full run of the place. Overseer. If you haven't already, you should stop by the classroom. Katie would love to have you speak to her students. I don't believe it. What's in here? Oh, it's your bedroom. Your pillow is all messed up, ma'am. Dr. Penske runs a hydroponics lab here. She may have some work for you if you're interested. Did you hear? Bobby DeLuca found some sort of secret passage to another vault. Interesting. If you need a doctor, Forsyth and Rachel are down in the medical center. They can patch you up. You have to do something, Jacob. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Well, Dr. Is. Forsyth. Not now, Bobby. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsythe, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you oh, find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. There was this terminal there, so I started poking around in it. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret fault? Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junky genius. Yes. There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere <laughs> That's in that so place. messed up. You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? I'll do it for Austin. You have a good heart. Your Bobby face here? is messed we'll up too. You Jesus, you look like stash. terrible. There is a chance that God somewhere bless. in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsyth. Jesus, what is and wrong with Austin your face, say, Please lady. hurry. Follow me. Be quick. Jesus. Okay, cure. let's go, boy. Hell yeah, brother. The hell are you going? Come on, Bobby. What do we got highlighted? Where am I supposed to be going? Oh, we'll check on Virgil at the end of this episode. Because I think that's how we started it, so yeah. Oh shit, that's cool. He just kicks the damn wall and boom, there we go. <laughs> We're off to the races. Okay. I know there's some sketchy stuff in here. We're going to make a hard save because uh, I was reading. And the mole rats can actually give you a permanent debuff. That cannot be cured, so we're definitely going to be watching out for that. Okay, I'm waiting for these mole rats to pop up out of nowhere. False alarm. Standing down. 
Okay, there's one. I'm walking around smacking vats, boys. We are not getting this permanent debuff. Holy shit! I friggin' missed! I blew his ass to bits! Ooh. No, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away! Holy shit! Back up! Back up, you bitch! I'm stuck! Help me! Oh my god, I'm scared. Where you at? Where the hell are you at? There's one. There's another one around here somewhere. Yo, I'm up. sure this whole thing is overblown and Austin will be running around tomorrow. Overblown what? or not, we have to do what we can for Austin. What? I just don't know what I can do. Neither do I, Priscilla. Why him? He's just a boy. He's going to be just fine. You'll see. Okay, we're gonna quick save again. Well, this is gonna be a joy for you. You get to nag me and I can't go anywhere. Oh, real nice, Holt. Make this about you. Don't you think about anyone other than yourself? Your nope. daughter could get nope, sick like today. Austin. And you're whining about spending time with your family? I have been. Oh shit! You're oh so shit! You have oh so much shit! To do. Please, <laughs> die, you bitch! Are more important than her safety. Just never mind. <sighs> Idiot. You and your staff are to make sure every this is resident too much. remains under strict medical this is too observation. Too much. Understood. But overseer. No but. This is for good of all. Oh my God! You can't risk this pathogen spreading, Doctor Forsythe. Yes, overseer. How is Austin doing? Not good. The infection has progressed quite rapidly. We need a way to stop it from spreading. Then let's hope that oh, outside no. gets us secure. Nope, you get deaded. You get deaded. Holy mo let me check my debuffs. Man, I am. Oh shit. God bless, man. God bless. She's Yo! Brother, please. Oh my god. I'm actually I'm actually gonna have a heart attack here. Dude, I swear to god, man. Bro, please. Oh, this is this is too much. This is scarier than anything right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where? Where? This is too much. Jeez. No, you don't. Not on my watch, bitch. Where? Oh shit, they're about. What the actual hell, man? Oh my god, this is this is too much. I'm too stressed right now. Holy moly. Holy moly. Die, you big ugly bitch. Holy moly. Oh, look, there's another one. Oh my god! He didn't bite me. He missed. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, I gotta see here. Wow. That is absolutely insanity. I am not having fun here, boys and girls. I'm actually having a damn horrible time. Okay. Jesus Christ, man. Just friggin' chaos, boys and girls. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, there's a bunch of, a bunch of dead ones in here. Okay. <laughs> I mean, might as well go ahead and take all the bones. Grave robber, that shit's too funny. Oh my god, man, I'm dead. Okay. Useless. What? Busted. Another stranger. Are you Voltex Security? Oh, it's my girl. I've waited Curie. so very patiently for you to arrive. 
Yes. Yes, I am. Superb! I placed an emergency call so long ago. I was beginning to think something dreadful must have happened. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. It's Curie. Since you are a vault -Tec representative, I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, be advised, there is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. If that is all, I am most eager to leave. Thanks for the cure. It is my hope that this cure finds its way to someone who needs it. Hopefully now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Wait, where are you going, girl? Hell's in here. I love how they just have a terminal clipping in there. Come on, Curia, let's go, girl! Holy shit, it's dark as hell in here. <laughs> it's, that's great. Oh my god. I, I was like, there were so many times in there, I was just like, bro, it's done. It's done. There's no way in hell. Like, I'm bit. I'm done. I'm gonna have to reload. But, uh, they didn't hit me once. I'm surprised. The cure. You found it. Here. Take the cure and use it on the boy. Only one dose? I hope this works. If it doesn't, there won't be anything to analyze to try again. Let's hope this works. I heard you had returned. It shouldn't be long. What? Where, where am I? You're Thank in God. the clinic. You were really sick, Austin. Our visitor from the Commonwealth saved your life. Really? She. Thanks, ma'am. I was worried to death about you, Austin. What got into your fool head? Going into a place like that. Nothing exciting ever happens here. I just wanted to see what was in there. Well, if it hadn't been for our friend here, you might have died. Thank you. I know you made sacrifices to help him. I know Dr. Pinsky will be grateful. For my part, I'd like to give you the syringe. I had it for years and never really had a use for it. She's not the only one. The whole vault is thankful. I'd like to give you a room here in the vault. A place you can call your own. It's in the main hall. On the left as you get off the elevator. Once again, thank you. Can I, go I hope you enjoy room? your thank accommodations. You. I wanted to say thank you again for what you did for Austin. You've opened a lot of eyes around here, including my own. I had no idea of the dangers vault Tech had hidden away so close to home. I can't believe so many died just behind our walls. Whatever vault Tech had planned, it failed, and took their entire staff out with it. No arguments here. I hate to think of what they had planned for us. But on the good side, you made a real impression on our anti-commonwealth people. They're realizing outsiders really can be trusted, and do more good than just providing resources. You'll always be welcome here. And I hope you make a habit of visiting. Having a trusted outsider a would help serve as a reminder that the Commonwealth isn't something to fear and avoid. A moment, please. I have been trapped so many years. I believe it's customary to thank you for your role in saving me. My entire life has been in this vault. I have analyzed and learned everything there is to know here. So now I must see the rest of the Commonwealth. Consult with scientists, unearth more data to challenge my hypothesis. After the bombs, the Commonwealth is a little lacking in the science department. But surely there is still men of learning out there. 
And if nothing else, there is data. Please, madame, can you take me with you? Come along, then. Excellent. We must embark at once. Ashes! Oh yeah, Curie is now my companion. My favorite companion. Let's talk to her about her cat. Whoa! A real live Commonwealth person! You dress funny. Well, hello. Excuse me, ma'am. Have you seen my cat? Your pit boy ever act up on you? Mine's been glitchy lately. Good talk, girl. Hello? Uh. What happened? He scratched me. Oh, there we go. And I yelled at him to go away. I didn't mean forever, though. His name is Ashes, and he's the best cat in the whole world. I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got here. Left the vault? Oh, please bring him back. Please. No one else would set foot outside for him. Hey, I'll find him for you. Thank you. His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. I'll work on that for you, girl. Uh, we gotta go talk to our boy in the if reactor you want a good room. Meal, see Maria at the cafeteria. It's not here. That's the bathroom. I think it's this way? Yeah, here we go. Alright, Tina? Hey, I, uh, I heard what you did for Austin. You saved that kid's life, so I, I was hoping you could help me out with Bobby. I need someone to get him off the jet. Ever since all that drama, he's gotten worse. Doesn't leave his room high all the time. Rachel said if he doesn't get help, he could die. You're right. He needs help. You've got to convince him to go see Rachel. She's got some treatment drug that'll help him get clean. It's either get clean or get dead at this point, and that bastard better get his priorities straight. Bobby! What are you doing here? Can't you see I'm busy? You need to get help, Bobby. Go see Rachel. She has medicine that will treat you. No way. It's never that easy. And now? I need this shit more than ever. It's the only way I'm gonna get through this. You need to quit. Austin almost died because of your habit. You're putting others at risk. But how am I supposed to do it? I can't handle that withdrawal shit. Not after everything that's happened. Rachel has a chem called Addictol. It's supposed to help ease the symptoms. I don't know, man. That week I tried to get clean, you don't even want to know how bad it got. But I guess it's worth it, right? It's gotta be. All right, I'll do it. I'll go right now. Hi, Tina. Did you, did you talk to Bobby? How'd it go? Good. He went to see Rachel. He's cleaning up. No shit! You actually did it? That's it. No more drugs, no more dealing. We're starting over. Maybe now I can get him to leave this can. If you really want out of here, you can come work for me. On a settlement. You know, as far as new beginnings go, that sounds pretty good. Count me in. Hell yeah. I just need to pack and have a long talk with Bobby. Then I'll be on my way. Perfect. I wanted to get her as a um, settler. Is it a little crowded in here, or is it just me? Curie, what are you doing? No. <laughs> Crazy girl. Man, bro. Jesus. All right, we're here to check on Virgil. Look at that. Welcome back. It needs some refinement, but uh, I think we can consider my serum a qualified success. This is a qualified success? There were some side effects to the process. I seem to have hair again, and I've retained some muscle mass. The genetic resequencer needs more work. Still, I take your point. This is a significant advance, but only for one strain of FEV. It will take years, perhaps decades, to generalize my formula. Still, you have my gratitude. You're welcome to make use of my lab. Or help yourself to any of this junk. 
if you want it. In the meantime, I have a lot of experiments to run. Excuse me. The radio signal from the Institute isn't coming in anymore. Something happened, didn't it? Something terrible. It had to be done, Virgil. It was them or us. You... It's all gone? All of it? The Institute had done some questionable things, but... All those people... I think... I think maybe you should go. For good. Virgil. I don't want visitors. Oh, I think dang. you should leave. Oh, we're just gonna loot everything real quick. Let's see. How, uh... Okay, so he's mad at me that just I blew... Please! Up. Leave me alone. You told me I could loot all your shit, so that's what I'm doing, brother. Protect and serve. Okay, well, he's uh, somebody we're never going to have to worry about talking to again. So, we healed him. He's a human now. And uh, he's mad that we blew up the Institute, of course. And we're going to fast travel out of here before Curie gets our asses killed by a glowing deathclaw. <laughs> Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's pretty much uh, what we're going to wrap up here. I don't want to show you the other side of the castle that uh, my character's facing right now. Um, there's some stuff I've been working on, and I'm not ready to show it yet. It's going to be for the 2.0 version of the castle that I've been working on. I've also been uh, working with the sanctuary as well. But, I mean, I think it's going to wrap it up for this part. You know, like I said, just in the last video, we uh, we destroyed the Institute, and I mean, we really blew it to hell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I mean, this isn't the end of the playthrough. There's still more to do. So we, we've secured Covenant, found out their little shady business. We went into Vault 81, explored a bit, and uh, we got a new settler. We got uh, Tina DeLuca. She's uh, totally going to be a vendor and everything. And then, um, oh, look, there she <laughs> I couldn't have been more perfectly timed. Oh, that's great. And I had to use some console commands to fix her face because uh, there was a really nasty glitch that we encountered, but... We've got her, we'll make her a vendor, and um, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it for this part. We also got Kiri. Everybody knows that uh, Kiri is my favorite companion. We're uh, going to boost her affinity up and get her to um, get her status to uh, where we can uh, get her to, uh, what am I trying to say here? Get her a body, make her a person. <laughs> that's really crazy if you think about it, but anyway. That's going to wrap it up here, ladies and gentlemen. So if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Drop a like, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.